Hello everyone, this is Farid Pramani and welcome to another episode of Think Tanks Ignite the Spark. So today's topic is for entrepreneurs, freelancers, startups on how to get to your next level and that is to get out of your comfort zone. Yes, uh, in life we try to work hard so that we can get into our comfort zone but the moment we step into a comfort zone, this is when we actually stop growing. That's why you have seen many people who are established, they still remain aggressive, they still remain hungry, they still try to remain out of their comfort zone because this is something, uh, there is a famous quote that if you are born poor, it's not a crime, but if you die poor, it is. And why it is? Because we have seen and many successful people will agree with me that there are no shortage of jobs, there are no shortage of businesses. It's the lazy people there who don't want to move out of their comfort zone. So if you feel that you are in your comfort zone, this is the time to step out. So I'll give you a quick eight tips today based on, and whenever I try to bring, it's highly researched, mix match based on 10, 20 books that we have gone through, journals, Forbes, magazines. So this is from actually a business entrepreneur uh, and AC Nielsen Research top eight ideas on how to step out of your comfort zone. So the point number one is start showing up into events. Start showing up into networking events. And mostly we try to go and meet people who we already know, whether it's our community people, whether it's our friends, friends, connections, weddings, ceremonies, birthday showers. The problem is we don't show up into events which makes us uncomfortable. And how can an event make you uncomfortable is when you don't know enough people there. And that's where your communication skills will be challenged. Your networking skills will be challenged. But this is when you will start getting to know new people. So showing up is a very important thing. And stepping out of your comfort zone means started showing up in an event where you don't know enough people. And most of the time, try to walk out yourself rather than taking a friend along. Because at the end, having someone with you, you are most of the time corresponding or communicating between yourselves and you will not be able to uh, start developing new alliances. Second point is start reflecting. Start reflecting your mistakes, your problems. What is stopping you to reach your next level? Why you are so comfortable in your comfort zone? That's something very important. Is it the work from home nature that makes you comfortable? Is that your hunger to make more money is stopping you? Is your energy level not that high? Is your body vitals not that reflective? Is your passion not that high? Is the dream you saw was too little that stops you to now go back and start making yourself big? What is it? Reflect and maybe there is a need to fine tune your idea or passion, right? That's number two. Point number three is rewrite your goals that's related to point number two so for those who don't have a goal create a goal write it down anything which is not written does not materialize but if you have developed a goal and let's say three years back you started working on something a new idea a new business venture of your own or a new skill which you wanted to acquire and now you feel no i think i am already there then there is a need to revisit that goal right Point number four is you might need to shift your identity. And that shift is two-way. One is internal, one is external. Internal shift comes from me, myself, Farid Pramani. What is my personality? Let's say my personality, sometimes I feel myself as introvert, want to spend time with myself more. But when I'm extrovert, then I'm communicating with the audience, you know. So that's another side of my identity. So you wear multiple hats and there is a very famous book of seven hats, right? So it's a must read book for any entrepreneur or starters who are doing starting up the road venture that you have to wear hats on different departmental heads. Eventually, any business that starts up, you don't have 10 people to run the show. You're juggling and wearing multiple hats, but then you create a legacy, then you have different departmental heads, right? So everybody reaches that point, but journey of thousand miles begins with these single steps. So identify your identity. Who are you? Are you a talkative person? Are you a people networker? Or are you a silent person? What kind of subjects you like? What kind of subjects people would want you to speak about? So let's say your subjects of interest are different than what people want you to talk about. And let's say people are more interested in games, sports, crypto coins, NFT, you know, 
spot out what kind of target audience will be there in the group where you're trying to network and go and fine tune yourself, get some knowledge, get some quick continuing education, update yourself in news, technology, sports. So at least you have some verbiage to speak. Okay. Point number five is built up your confidence. So have you heard the term fake it, make it, right? Let's say you're not confident, you're having that nervousness still. And uh, confidence is like we say brushing your teeth every day. You know, why do we brush our teeth every day? Because next day we need to brush it again. Next day we need to brush it again. The minute you stop brushing, you start smelling, right? So it's the same as confidence. You need to keep on practicing. That's the same way you need to keep on networking. If you lose your confidence, the only way to get confident is to feel confident. Right? So fake it, make it. When you enter a crowd, feel that you're confident. You know, there is a very good say that a courageous person is not someone who does not have fear. A courageous person is not someone who does not have fear, but he's someone who still has fear, but knows how to move with it, you know, or knows how to move along with it. So you need to build that kind of mindset. And the last point is, you need to create some excitement. So the entrepreneurial journey, starter journey, till you reach that point where world starts congratulating you, you need to develop some levels of excitement so your journey does not become bored. And how you can do it is developing a milestone and congratulating yourself, taking your family out, yourself out for retreat, dinner, go and get a good massage. Appreciate, appreciate what you're doing in small capacities. Let your heart set. Remember that emotional intelligence video? When you congratulate yourself, your body started becoming thankful and you develop your own persona that I don't need anybody to congratulate me. I can, I can well appreciate myself. Give yourself pat on the back. You know, this is something that would really help you. And then when you'll go big, obviously the world is there to appreciate successful people out there. But till then, you have to drag yourself and I hope these pointer helps you. So remember, stepping out of your comfort zone is something that could help get you to the next level. This is Swarit Pramani, shout out. Take care.